what's good guys and welcome to Tales of Cass Lego! So on today's menu, first of all, I'm back. Yes, I am back, babies. I am back. Thank you for the continuous love. Thank you for the continuous support. I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed, and I can't thank no one else other than God. But I could also thank you guys, although God brought you guys here. So technically, I'm thanking God. But <laughs> on today's menu, guys, we have a fully loaded salmon salad. Okay. Before I jump into it, guys, and I start giving you lots the 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 goods. It's the prep, yeah? So as you can see, food bin is open. Yes, it's full. I'm gonna take it out after this. And the preparation. Okay guys, so the good thing about salads is you control it solely. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you wanna eat, you put in. Whatever you don't wanna eat, you don't put, okay? So these are the items that I've prepared for my salmon salad. So obviously my shop is Tesco's. Do you know what I'm saying? So we've got some honey roasted salmon flakes here we've got the feta cheese we've got lettuce yes i've done it the lazy way shredded <laughs> we've got some tomatoes here they've already been washed this morning but obviously i'm going to give them another wash we've got some beetroot some sweet corn tesco brand actually is very very sweet so i do recommend that thank me now we have some fresh lemon it's going to be rolled squeezed peeled everything and um the only seasoning i actually use in the salad is actually sea salt to me Salad is salad, salad is important, salad is green, do you know what I'm saying? The benefits that's in beetroot, the benefits that's in tomatoes, the benefits that's in lettuce, do you know what I'm saying? They all have uh, uh, beneficial benefits. So I do believe that it shouldn't be seasoned so much, but to the point where you're just eating sweets or eating salt or something like that. But, but yeah, the sauces guys, we have some pomegranate um, syrup here, um, obviously balsamic vinegar. Salad cream is vegan, I guess. Um, it's vegan, yeah, but yeah. To me, I just tasted it, it don't taste no different, but it's vegan. And we've got the fresh Greek olive oil, okay? I do recommend Greek olive oil when it comes to salads. And yeah, let's get it. So, the first step is obviously washing the salad. Um, I'm gonna run the cold tap. You know, I'm gonna let that run. I'm gonna put some lettuce in here first. Guys, we have the tomatoes, okay? Probably gonna use a handful of tomatoes, not, not, not in one, not less. Give that a rinse again. It's fancy. You know what I'm saying? Hate on me now, guys. <laughs> Just joking. And um, I like to cut tomatoes that way. I feel like when you cut it that way, you can pick it up on the fork much more better. So, um, gonna cut it that way, okay? I got these tomatoes from the um, the market. The only tomatoes that I know are nice and sweet are obviously from my guy in the market. Market or Lidl. Lidl has really, really nice sweet tomatoes, man. So if you don't like tomatoes, I would recommend giving that a try. in the bin and I'm gonna put that in the fridge okay yes guys so we are back okay we have the lettuce and tomatoes here we're gonna roll the lemon we're gonna use half the lemon okay so we're gonna roll it so I'm gonna use only half the lemon the other half I'm gonna leave here and I'm actually gonna use one beetroot okay uh, maybe my cameraman doesn't like beetroot but <laughs> we're only gonna use one no, we're just gonna slice that up right there you want to be careful man because the colors on this yeah you don't want to damage your surfaces and we're gonna put that in Yeah. 
Yeah, we're gonna now put some lemon, okay? Guys, you know what I forgot? I'm gonna wash my hands. I forgot something really, really important, man. Guys, eggs. So, okay, so I'm gonna get two eggs right now. Two eggs, we're gonna boil them eggs. Like I said, this is a fully loaded salad, so I really, really, really wanna have a nice salad. Okay, guys, so we got the eggs, okay? They're gonna boil. Bit of salt in them eggs. Am I the only one that does that, by the way? Because not a lot of people do that, but let me know if. Uh, you sprinkle salt on the shell of your eggs. <laughs> we are now going to reach for the wooden spoon, okay? We're going to give that a stir. Just added the salt and the pink peppercorn, okay? That's the only thing. This one's recommended, guys, yeah, from Tesco, okay? Sea salt, pink, peppercorns, and nori. A bit of olive oil. Let me drop that olive oil back. Guys, I forgot to boil the eggs sooner. They should have been the first step. So we're gonna boil the eggs. They're boiling now. And when they finish boiling, we're gonna resume the video, okay? So BRB. So guys, everything you see that is no longer here, I have cleaned up. <laughs> so don't be asking me, what was I meant to have done while you're waiting for the eggs to boil? You were meant to have boiled your eggs and you were meant to have washed up, okay? My sink's empty, everything's empty, okay? So now the eggs are nearly gonna be ready. And then bad boys back up. Yeah, so all I've put in here is the pepper, yeah, the beetroot, olive oil, salt, and um, and yeah. Okay, we're gonna add the sweet corn now. Yes, I use my fingers, my hands are clean. If you don't have clean nails, don't worry, don't use your fingers, but I have no nails, so go ahead. Sweet corn in there, we're gonna give that another mix. Okay, what we're gonna add now, we're gonna add some of the pomegranate thing. Okay, if you don't have that, then I can't help you. Maybe add some sugar, but Sugar and salad, I don't know, man. I'm just going to add some of that. Some sticky. And I don't think I'm going to add any um, of the balsamic vinegar. I think I'm going to leave that aside, only because I've been adding too much liquids for now. And the last thing that I do want to add is actually the salmon cream. Um, but that's obviously going to be in my serving bowl. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to open up the feta, okay? And we're going to put it in a container. Okay, and then it's gonna go in the bowl. You're not really gonna mix it too tough, but you're just gonna, you know what I mean? You're gonna try and get them, yeah, like that. Right, we're gonna cut the eggs. I don't wanna place the bowl, the, um, the pot, sorry, on the sink as of yet, because I want it to get a bit cold. Um, some people like to do this Stuff, but what I find is that when you're cooking and stuff, it tends to your food tends to stick. Um, yeah, let me say this actually. Your food tends to stick into the pan if you just finish cooking, bring the pan straight over, and just do this whole thing. Then the non-stick is now stick. Okay, so just to save time, save money. Another tip from Tells a Cast: Thank me later. Like you want the, you know, what I'm saying you want it to be fairly warm. Now I can place it down. You don't need no tools. Okay, so let's not. Do the toast, let's avoid the toast and like that, okay? I'm gonna rinse these eggs one time for the one time. Okay, so now, no more of this. I'm gonna plate the side on, okay? It's a very sweetish type, so it just depends how you wanna, do you know what I mean? How you wanna do it, okay? Okay, 
okay guys and there you have it do you know what i mean how i'm gonna deco my salad is i'm just gonna put some salad cream i'm a big heavy fan of salad cream <laughs> So that's the way I'm gonna do it, and there you have it—a fully loaded salmon salad. Okay, if you wanna add the avocados, add it. But there you go. Mm -hmm.